Hey, happy Sunday, meal prep Sunday. So, I think I had really fun. Was it last week when I did a video on how to make something vegan that basically pretty much had everything in my pantry? And I'm so sorry. I have TV in the background. I have grandbaby behind me. Oh, hold that thought. No. Okay, sorry. I had, so if I get distracted, I'm watching grandbaby, so I have to make sure she doesn't get into stuff. So, um, I'm cooking, I'm meal prepping. So, I wanted to make this in front of you guys, and I'm pretty much, not a whole lot to do, really. Um, and I know people are asking me to share vegan or vegetarian recipes, and hubby and I, well, as you know, I'm. 97% vegan. My husband is vegetarian during the week and I try to, we try to eat healthy. You know what I mean? Try to make better choices. So this is what I'm cooking. I pre-cooked for the most part five potatoes that I cubed and let me show you real quick. All right, here we go. I cubed up five potatoes and, and cooked it with, in a little bit of water and um, uh, olive oil. So that's that. Hold on. So that's that. And I already had that. All of these ingredients I pretty much had in my house except for the chickpeas and the tomato sauce. So, and it had all the seasonings, so I was surprised. Um, so make sure you use all your seasonings before they expire, because yes, your seasonings do expire and they don't taste so good. I mean, you can still use them, but they don't taste as good. So, um, the secret, hey, thank you for the hearts. Okay, the secret, okay, if you guys eat beans or chickpeas and are a bean lover like me and hubby, and you're trying to not be, you know, gassy. It happens. But the secret to not being gassy or less gassy is to rinse your beans. <laughs> Good morning. I'm making ve vegan chickpea um, curry. So, so the secret to not having a rumble in your tummy and making your neighbor mad is rinse your beans so um, make sure you rinse your beans um, or chickpeas so I have chickpeas here that I've already rinsed and you pretty much know when they're rinsed when all the bubbles are gone plus you don't want that extra sodium I mean you can make your own beans I don't have time for that um, so I bought the canned ones I rinsed it um, and so yeah this is two cans of uh, chickpeas that I rinsed and then um, for those that just hopped on I pre-cooked in here five um, potatoes that I cubed in coconut oil so here we go there's the chickpeas this is five meals you guys cheap I'm sure I'll go over at the end of my head how much this cost <laughs> cheap always rinse your beans always you don't want to piss off the neighbor your, your spouse <laughs> or friends that come over <laughs> anyways um, I bought a can of what is this crushed tomatoes and the only thing in here is tomatoes like legit the only ingredient vine ripened tomatoes and this brand is Sento so, um, if you're looking for some alternatives, this is a big 28, 28 ounce can. So you just pour this in here. And then try to stir it up here. Some of my potatoes are sticking to the bottom. My hubby was like, he gets mad at me sometimes <laughs> when I've uh, been known to let stuff stick at the bottom. So, so you just stir it up a little bit because you're gonna cook it on the stove. You, know, you let this cook for a couple of hours on the stove on low. Hey, thank you for the hearts. All right, so that's it. Potatoes so far, chickpeas rinsed, and one can, 28 ounce 
can of, I'll put, I promise when I'm done, I'll show a picture of the after and I'll also put the recipe in the comments as well. So I love it if you guys give me like some, if you like these videos, if you want to see more recipes, this is very vulnerable and scary, but I'm having fun with it. So anyways, I had all of these, um, uh, oh my God brain farting here. I had all of these um, seasonings. Oh my gosh, I couldn't, I forgot what I was saying. All of these seasonings I already had. Um, I have chili, um, ginger. Now you can use fresh ginger if you want to, but I, I was looking at the, my pantry and I'm like, I need to use these before they go bad. So you can use fresh ginger if you want. Um, I have a bay leaf. So I'm going to put two bay leaves in here. Make sure when you're done cooking to pull the bay leaves out. They don't taste good. So leave them whole. Here, in fact, let me just take them out right now. Leave them whole. <laughs> Thank you, John, I appreciate it. Leave them whole, and then when you're done cooking, pull them out. They're not, you don't eat these. I don't know, I don't. So pull them out. All right, I put two in there. Turmeric, which is so healthy for you. If you guys are not eating turmeric, it is so good for you. Google, Google the, um, nutrition on it, why it's good for you, and coriander, which is also cumin. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure, coriander, and cumin. So um, that's it, that's it, so I have my grandbaby. So I will promise I'll put all of the, the recipe and the ingredients in the um, comments and the after picture in the comments when I'm done. So that's it. That's like, and honestly, if you don't like these particular um, seasonings, use your own. You, whatever floats your boat. If you're not into spicy, it's not spicy. It is warm. It is a warm curry. I mean, you know, a warm kind of thing. Like if you like comfort food, if you don't like spice, maybe don't put the chili powder. Um, you know, or the ginger. Ginger can be a little bit spicy. Or just put less of it. I promise when I'm done, I'll make sure that I put, like, what of each item um, and how much. But do it to taste. You know what I mean? You can put Himalayan salt. Um, you can put red pepper flakes. You can douse it with hot sauce, you know, while you're cooking. So, le legit, how much did this cost me? $5? It cost me $5. And it's going to last five days, five meals. Okay, thank you, Kathy, I appreciate it. So that's what, $5 Monday through Friday, so a dollar per dinner, that's cheap. The can of tomatoes was $1.77, and it's gonna last me five days because I'm spreading it out into five Tupperwares. Five potatoes, a dollar, maybe. Um, the uh, can of chickpeas I got from Walmart were 57 cents. I used two cans. So when people tell me they can't afford to eat healthy, you can. <laughs> you can afford to eat healthy. I'm making a big pot. In fact, if you're looking for something inexpensive for meal prep Monday or meatless Monday, you can make this for meatless Monday. Or if you're looking for something that will carry you over for the weekend, you're going to be busy with errands and stuff like that, put this all in a crock pot. Put in your crock pot. Um, so I'm gonna be cooking, I'm gonna add all the seasonings and then I will promise I'll share all the ingredients in the comments and um, I hope this helps you in your meal prep and I hope you all are meal prepping because if you are not, if you are failing to plan, you're planning to fail, keeping it real. So I hope this helped you. I would love it if you would comment below or give me some hearts and likes and let me know if you want more of this or comment below of what more you wanna see means a lot to me. Um, doing these videos are super vulnerable. So hope you guys have a great rest of your meal prep Sunday and I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Pretty much, Don. you're right. <laughs> Thank you.